Um, well, I guess for me, therapy is not... A client comes to therapy with everything they ever need, and, and all I am is I'm just that window through which they see stuff or the mirror within which it's reflected back at them. Um, yeah, it's that one's really difficult because othering is is not acknowledging that there is difference and and just kind of going, oh well we won't we don't need to talk about that because that's that's not relevant. Whereas actually it is. In every area of our lives it's relevant. In you know, a couple of years ago I did a, a thing at Poly Day and I asked people what words come to mind when you think of, of uh, POC people and, and there were things like, you know, hypersexual and fetishized and um, angry and you know we even uh, have our own form of BDSM called race play. So so if, if if this is if this is relevant in the outside world, then it's just as relevant in in a therapy room and should be treated as such. And through that, we're talking about intra sessional disclosure and that feeling of how does this make me as a therapist feel instead of going I'm the authority on this you know I know better this is what you should do looking within yourself and like Joelle was saying looking within your heart what does what does this feel like to you what does this does it trigger something in you is that why you you disassociate from it maybe so it's about Knowing self, because you can't expect to know somebody else unless you know yourself. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I guess to kind of avoid that othering, um, clients don't don't wait for a person of colour or black or Asian client to approach you to then start learning about race issues or those specific issues. Don't wait for a client who, who is religious or has a faith or has a disability or is trans or anything that's different for you. <coughs> to then start educating yourself about it. Um, I think that's how we can make sure we're not othering them, because we're just learning, right? Mm. 